customize iOS 18 with these eight settings. Setting number one. Tap on messages. Once you've picked the person, just go ahead and type in. I just put, just hit the plus button to the right. And right there, you can just hit the plus button and tap on send later. And this will allow you to schedule it into the future. So I'm gonna to put today at 5 p.m. and then I just hit the send button. And as you can see right there, it's waiting. And the nice thing is I can always come back if I change my mind, tap on edit, either delete it or edit the time or send the message instantly. This one's long overdue, but I absolutely love it. Setting number two. Tap on messages. From here, once you pick the person, you can now double tap and from here, hit this little right arrow, hit it again, and now you have text effects. So you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, bold, all of these different options, or just click again and go back to normal. Another cool thing here is you can add a subject line, and this will always be bold when you send the text. Let me show you how to do that. Close this out. Tap on settings. As you scroll down here, you'll notice it looks different. Tap on apps, and now they're all in alphabetical order. So we're gonna go all the way here to messages, right there, and then you're gonna scroll down, and then right here, you're going to see show subject field. That's having it turned off. Simply hit there, and then it's turned on and you can now add a subject to any of your text messages. And if you don't add it in there, it just shows up as a normal text message. If you like this video, hit that subscribe and thumbs up button. Setting number three. Tap on settings. From here, tap on accessibility. And I want you to scroll down. And right here, I want you to tap on eye tracking. And from here, if you tap learn more, this tells you exactly how it works and how you can control your device, set up calibration and dwell control. Tap done. From here, you're going to turn on eye tracking and then you're going to follow the dot on the screen here. This is calibrating the eye movement. Once you're done, you'll get the check mark. And as you can see now, I'm looking around and if I want to change something, I stare at it and that will allow me to tap on it or move it. Setting number four. Hold down on any app. I'm going to pick Facebook. And from here, I can now use Face ID to open it. So I'll require Face ID. And as you can see, it'll require Face ID or your passcode to open and show the content, even in other apps. The other thing that I really like about this is I can hide this and require Face ID. So if somebody happens to be snooping through your phone, they won't even know that you have the app. And if they do find it somehow, it'll require Face ID to open it even if they try to open it from another app. I really like this feature. It really helps to keep all of your apps and your information private, even from those that can access your phone. Also tap on photos and hold down on any photo and you have the option to hide that and it'll be in a hidden album. That's been around for a while, but definitely helpful if you wanna hide individual photos. For more iPhone tips, Check out this playlist. Setting number five. It's now really easy to customize your home screen. Just long press on the screen and in the top left, you can tap on edit. From here, tap on customize. And from here, you can do small or large icons, which will eliminate any text below. You can do light, dark, automatic, or tint. If you pick tent, you can change the tent down here and pick uh, many different colors. Also, right here, you can see this eyedropper. If you tap there, I can choose a color on a photo, and now that's the base color, and I can change that if I like as well. Another thing that I really like is you can hold down on here. Let me go back to edit. 
and I can now take an app and move it anywhere on the screen. It doesn't have to line up exactly like it always had before. Setting number six, tap on the Photos app. As you can see, you have your photos here, but below that you have recent days, you have people, pen collections, memories, trips, featured photos, media types, utilities, albums, and much more. To make it quick, scroll all the way to the bottom and tap on customize and reorder. From here, you can reorder or just get rid of the things that you don't want, pin collection, memories, trips, and you can hold down on these three lines to reorder them. And personally, I'm going to remove just about everything. I like the original photo app. Once I take a photo, I know exactly where it's at. If at some point you decide you wanna go back to the way things were when you first got the app, all you need to do is up in the left-hand corner is tap reset, and it'll be back to just the way it was when you started iOS 18. Setting number seven, tap on Safari. I hate when I'm on a web page and there's all these advertisements everywhere and they float. So all you do to get rid of that in iOS 18 is tap up top, and right here on the top left, tap there, and you have a couple different options. First, I like the fact that you can listen to the page, so that way if I'm out walking or I'm doing something driving, I can listen to the page. But another thing that I really like is this hide distracting items. All I do is tap there, and now from here I can tap and tap hide, and it gets rid of that ad. Down here, I can tap and hide. Now I can actually read the entire screen. I really like this feature. And then if I want them back, I just hit cancel and they're back. Or if I like them gone, all I do once I hide these items is tap done and they'll stay hidden. Setting number eight. In iOS 18, you have this new passwords app. Tap there. It requires Face ID to open. Once it opens, I want to show you a few things that are really handy. Number one, if you tap all, it'll show you all of the passwords you have alphabetically. Now, if you see right here, there's a red exclamation point. If I tap there, it tells me that this password needs to be changed. It's been compromised. If I go back and go back into passwords, I can also tap right here on security and it'll go through line by line and tell me which ones are compromised so I can go in and change those. I really like that feature. Let's go back to the main screen. Now this one is really helpful. Go ahead and tap Wi-Fi. You can see I have 40 of them stored here. I highly recommend that you get rid of ones that are unsecured, especially if you're not using them. In the top right, tap on that check mark, and now I can go through and just tap on the ones that I want to get rid of. It'll basically forget that Wi-Fi network and help your phone be more secure.